This is Brian Jepson from Make Magazine, and I'm here at Mix 10 yes. with Clint Rutkus, the coding for fun ninja. And the big story this week is uh, robotic t-shirt cannons. Yes. And the other big story this week is Windows Phone, and so, we've got them both here. So yes, we combined a Windows Phone application. So here you can see our startup screen. We have our driving screen, our aiming screen, and our finally our shooting screen. And we just posted the source code on codingforfun.com, the number four fun. So codingforfun.com, yes. you, posted, you said you posted source code. We posted source now, code Now explain that to me because what would I do with that source code? I gotta get the um, So we have the emulator, right. so you can, you can develop against the phone. And then also so then people can see how we pull this off. Oh, okay. We had two weeks to build not one, but two robots. So there they are. So a lot of our decisions were based on, do we have contingency plans? Have we used the parts before? Can we get the parts fast enough? So, uh, and also due to the environment where we have 5,000 people, all using Wi-Fi connections, we, were, we had to have a tethered, so a pl an Ethernet plug solution to the robot because we didn't want it to, uh, anyone to potentially send a bad command or not get a command. Okay. So I apologize for my voice. I've been talking at the top of my voice for the past three days. Yeah, I think that um, a lot of people want to talk about your robot. But So the phone actually is powered by Silverlight. So let's go to the fire screen, and I click that and you hear a thud, and that's actually firing here. Yep, yep. So, so what it does is it sends an HTTP request to the robot down here, where we have a server that's running IIS, and it's a basically an ASP.NET web page that we interpret the commands. It's a RESTful command sequence, mm -hmm. and then from there, we can drive and uh, do the robot. Now, safety was a big concern here, so our motor controller has a dead, uh, it's called a watchdog switch, basically dead man switch. So if it doesn't get a, com a command in 50 milliseconds, it stops. Mm -hmm. Our source code has pan tilt stops. The software has pan tilt stop stops. So we wanted to be sure that no point anyone was going to get hurt. So when I went out on stage, if the robot went ballistic, I was there to grab it. Okay. Um, but in doing so, we tested this again and again and again. Um, so when we shot it on stage, we knew exactly where the t-shirts were going to land, exactly how it was going to behave. Um, if you look actually down here, you'll see all the parts are pretty much off the shelf. We have fidget, con or fidget relay controller here. Actually, let's switch to the other one if you can see it stuff better. So here's a fidget relay controller. Here is a Fidget Servo Advanced Controller. We actually have RC, uh, DC to DC control uh, converters, the BEC battery elimination circuits. Uh -huh. And the nice thing is these are castle controllers, uh, so they uh, you can program them to be certain ranges. So some of the electronics here run at 12, 5, and 6 volts. Oh, okay. So by doing this, it lets us uh, hot swap components and get new components and not have to worry. Oh, great. Um, configurability was a huge, huge part. Now, this circuit here uh, is actually me cheating. It's not an off-the-shelf part. As soon as I released the drink tender source code, which is my automated bartender, this was a circuit I made to help clean up the wiring okay. for relays. So my big problem is uh, with relays is you have to do a lot of extra wiring to get them to work and look good. Yep. So I just I made my own little circuit. The entire robot has four 12 volt batteries that are wired in two 24 volt battery space battery packs. Uh, like I said, it has a motor control, relay control, and a fidget servo control. That's excellent. And the whole project's online at Coding online, for Fun? Online. Uh, we did it. It's going to be a multi-part series, so it's going to be, um, I think, five or six parts. We're going to explain each one in depth. We just posted the very high overview Okay. Uh, and how we pulled it off. But like I said, the source code is available. Um, if you have any questions, please comment on the article, and I will do my best to answer those as soon as possible, along with um, 
resolve those questions and uh, on the physical articles later on. And that'll work well for you because you won't need to have your voice to answer those questions. Exactly. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is a fun project. So we've been uh, just, we have really low PSI. So actually, if we go here, you can see I'm tilting it and it's tilting. And then as people were crossing, I was just doing nice little uh, fires at them. Well, thanks a lot, Clint. Thank really you. appreciate it. Great project. Thank you.